Hi, I'm Sarah Fagan. I am originally from Long Island, New York, uh, about like half an hour outside of Manhattan. So I like to pretend I'm from New York City, even though I'm not. I'm taking pictures for most of my life. I started taking photography classes when I was 12 or 13. I mainly do like concert photography, which I started when I was 15 years old, sort of going to like really shitty venues on Long Island, bringing my film camera with me, shooting like their 200 speed black and white film at venues until my parents got me my first camera. I've been doing live music photography for 10 years now. Um, I've always done like portrait stuff like on the side for like school projects and that sort of thing. Um, but I didn't really start taking that seriously until the past like two years. I, I always just focused on live music because I could never play an instrument and I wanted to be involved in music in some way. And when, and I used to go to shows and be like on the barricade, like with my little point and shoot and I take photos and every now and again I'd be like, that's really good. Like maybe I could bring my real camera here. And that sort of like snowballed into like me becoming like a gig photographer. And so that's always been amazing because I'm a little bit awkward when it comes to like posing people and stuff. And like I'm more comfortable with myself now than I was when I was younger, so doing portraits is a bit easier. But gigs, it was always like these people just are creating these emotions and moments themselves, and then I would be able to capture that, and that was something that like I always wanted to do. Whereas now I've realized that gig photography isn't like a lucrative career like I thought it was when I was a teenager. Um, so portrait photography is like another way into sort of being able to make money doing photography. And so I've gotten more involved in that. Um, you guys just saw me shooting with Kira, or you're gonna see me shoot with Kira. And like, since I moved here, we've shot twice now, and she's my new little muse. <laughs> I love her. This is my small child, <laughs> aka my camera, um, which I don't actually know what camera it is because that doesn't actually matter. Um, so I shoot Nikon, which is the only thing that I guess sort of does matter. And that's just mainly because when I first started shooting, my dad had a Nikon F2000 like film camera that he used to use like when he was a teenager that he like gifted me to like learn how to shoot with. They bought me my first camera for my birthday when I was 16. They got me like a Nikon digital shoot. They were like, oh, she like knows how it works. And also a lot of the lenses work the DSLRs from the SLRs. That's my camera body and then the camera lens that I have on right now is Sigma Art 35 1.4 because I'm really basic. Like <laughs> everybody back home and a couple people here have been shooting with like prisms and crystals and stuff, so I wanted to try it out. But everybody had just like the normal one you have in like science class, basically. So I asked my mom if we had any at home, and she gave me this like spare chandelier crystal, which has been really cool because there's like two different shapes that I can use, and it's just kind of awesome because. The way that it is on the bottom, like the light sort of in the, my photos, some people like connect and it looks like uh, constellations. So that's really fun in them. So right now I'm in London getting my postgraduate degree in digital journalism. Um, I did my undergrad in photography, but I've sort of always been involved in like music journalism and uh, writing and photography. So I figured if I went and studied journalism, I would have like more shot at doing things. I've only been back like a couple months, but the difference between like the creative community here and in New York is similar, but also very different just because everybody thinks New York City is like, really big, but New York City is like very compact and there's only so many places to go see concerts. So most people that are involved in the music industry know each other, either by proxy or like actually are friends. Whereas it seems here there's just like a lot of people that know of each other, but don't actually know each other. And there's like small clusters. And I feel like whenever you're in a creative industry, like there is gonna be some competitiveness, but here it seems a lot more so than in New York. And I'm not sure why that is. It might be because there are New Yorkers and there's less so Londoners from like my experience. Um, so a lot of people move here from small cities and they move here to make it, whereas most of the people that I know in New York like are from like another big city or are actually from like close enough to Manhattan that Manhattan at some time felt home to them um, before they actually lived there and I feel like that has created more of a community feel compared to here. The two like most important things like to be able to make it as a creative and not let it ever get you down in any way is like you need to have friends that support you but that also are involved in the same world as you because 
When you have friends that don't get it, like they'll just be like, oh, like come with me, take pictures. And you're like, no, that's like how I make money. And so it's obviously it's nice to have normal friends, but it's also like nice to have like creative friends who like get it and do art as well. Cause like they understand and they'll support you. But you always also need to like be careful of who you become friends with because there are sometimes people who will seem like all around good people, but sort of will see where you are and where they are. And that's the other issue with like being friends with creatives is that there's always the people who like maybe like came from somewhere small and like think that there's something big and then come somewhere big and see that you're succeeding and then they're not anymore and that can be a little bit dangerous sometimes i think not to say that people are all inherently bad because they're not <laughs> but um i guess it's just sort of how it is with anything just like keep your friends close <laughs> and like always sort of keep new people at arm's length especially like in this industry okay so if i had to use one word to describe being a photographer i don't think that'd be possible because like there's two sides of photography and it's like fun but also really stressful um but it's also it's the best <laughs> it's the best thing ever